I had been to a bird sanctuary with my son. There were so many colorful birds flying here and there. He actually started counting all the birds. Red, green, purple, blue, black. Oh my God, it was just awesome. So we thought instead of counting it manually, can we actually create a project where we can implement it in that bird sanctuary and it can count the colors of the birds. So this is what we are going to do today in this video session. Like I have got a few color papers with me. Um, we will do it with the help of color paper. So when we are testing it, we will take help of these color papers. And as soon as the color papers will come in front of the camera, it will detect the color and start counting how many birds. And this all we are going to do in very, very simple four steps. First of all, you will have to create your target. You will have to decide what is your target. What is the point where when the bird comes, you will detect it or your video camera will actually catch it. Uh, so decide your target. Detect the colors. You will have to write the code to detect the colors. Detect more colors to make it perfect. Why to make it perfect? Because the color, you know, may vary from lighting to lighting. So this yellow sometimes could be something, you know, like this. Sometimes sometime it could be something like this. So detect more colors. Make it more intelligent to detect more and more colors. And then finally count colors. So without wasting any time, let's get started. As we already know the step one is to create a target. So for this, I'm going to remove the scatty thing. And I'm going to actually draw my own um, sprite that we will use as a target. So how does a target look like? A target actually look like a... A uh, simple circle with some lines, you know, with some targeting lines around it. So this is how exactly I'm going to draw it. You could be a little more innovative if you want to, and you can draw it according to your imagination. But this, this is how simply I'm going to draw it. Make this target a little hazy. Make it hazy. We are going to use this command, set. But what do we want to set? We want to set the ghost effect. So say, for example, I want to set the ghost effect to 80. When I want to set the ghost effect to 80, when this green flag is clicked. So as soon as this green flag is clicked, now you can see the, uh, the this target is a lot transparent sort of. So let's discover, you can discover it a little more. If you say it's zero, that will be 100% visible. If you make it 100 actually this is you know 100 percent ghost effect your target will be invisible so you can make many more uh, wonderful things using this ghost effect if you want let me know we will create a, a new video regarding this ghost effect we can actually create a halloween project as well let me know if you want it okay so set ghost effect to 80 yeah that this looks good uh now we will have to do something to actually detect the video motions so to detect the video motions, what we are going to do, we are going to import this plugin to it. What is this plugin? Video sensing. How do I get to here? I click here on plus and I click on video sensing. So when I click on this video sensing, it will add a new uh, toolbar, which is video sensing. So here, when you click on this video sensing project, um, it will add you a couple of these commands to you. What are these commands? These commands are turn the video on or off. So yes, uh, at the beginning, I want my video to be turned on. So I will use this command and uh, set video transparency. This is to make sure, you know, that my video is clear enough. So these are the two commands that we are going to use at the very beginning. So I will have to now at this moment turn off my camera because the sprite would like to use the camera. Now, when I click on this green flag, the video camera is on and uh, you can see it is a little hazy because the video transparency is set to 50. Let me change it. Let me change it to zero. So the transparency is zero, which means, uh, you know, my, my screen is clearly visible. So we have the camera detector. Um, my camera is now here. We have a camera detector and we have a target as well. As well. What next? Next, we want to start recognizing the colors. But how do we do that? I want to check, you know, if my this target is touching a green color. And that green color this time is going to come from the video itself, right? So uh, if this target is touching a green color, which is being cached by the video or being recorded by the video, it should say a green color. This is our second step where uh, my program is going to detect the color as it is coming on the video. So let's do that. Go to 
control first of all and we will use this command if uh, what do we want if my if this target is actually touching the green color this is what i want to code if this target is touching the green color go to sensing and you can take this command touching color if the target is touching what color? If this target is touching green color, how do we catch the exact green color? When you click on this this uh, oval oval type of you know block, it will show you all these color saturation and brightness. But you click on this color picker, and when you click on this color picker, go to your camera and you click wherever whatever color you want to pick so you know whenever the, this color is coming in front of the camera it will catch it and how do we notice or how do we understand that it has actually catch this color go to looks and say say something so here i am going to say say green before it can actually say green what we will have to do we will have to apply a forever loop surrounding it so that you know whenever whenever this color is coming it can detect it so I'm going to put it outside this if block, something like this. Now I'm now let's test. So you can see it has detected green color, but it is detecting a color. But you know, sometimes what is happening, I have to move it a lot to, you know, make it uh, the exact shape it is trying to detect. So what do I do for this? For this, I will have to give it more colors, you know, like if this is, uh, touching this shade or if it this is touching another shade basically the idea is to make it more and more accurate make it more and more accurate we will be using this or operator so go to operators and pick this or operator so we want to see if this is touching this green color or maybe it is touching some another shade of green but it's, it's still it is green color So let's give it another shade of green. Okay, so it has picked another shade of green. You can see the difference also in shades. And actually, I want to give it some more colors. So this is our step three, actually, more colors. We are adding it more colors and made, making it more and more efficient. Again, take this or. And you can add one more color. let's time this time let's pick it from here okay so we have three different shapes and i believe this time it will not take a lot of time to detect it so you can see you know i have given only three shade and this is so much perfect now similarly you can repeat it with other color papers as well okay i have these four colors so let me do it you can pause the video and do it for other colors as well. You can do it for as many colors you want. You can basically make a duplicate of it. Attach it here and just change the colors. So we will have to do this basically, you know, so that uh, because the color may change depending upon the lighting and other factors, it may look more bright or less bright. And that is why to make it more perfect, it is better if we take different, different shades and take it basically from the different, different places. And anyways, when we are going to create this bird project, catching the color of a bird, the color of the birds, you know, may vary. They may be blue, but a different shade of blue so i would like to give them more accurate details so here we have with more accurate details let's have a quick test blues orange green in similar fashion you can implement it for other colors as well what next we have added color we have added more colors 
Final step, give them a count, count them. So counting, yes, of course, you got it right. Go to variables and we are going to create new variable. So because I have implemented it for three colors, I will create three variables, name them accordingly, blue, orange, and green. Okay, so I have named them and what I will have to do, I will just have to again go to variables and change them. As in when that color is coming, change the variable value by one. Isn't it simple and isn't it amazing as well? Yes, it is. I am really loving it. I hope you are also enjoying doing this exercise along with me. Don't forget to share and subscribe and give it a final test. Green. Yes, green increased by one. Orange, yes. Orange is increased by one. Blue, yes. Blue is also increased by one. So, wow. Here we have the project. Hope you like the project. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we keep on creating such more amazing content for you. See you soon. Bye-bye.